number one and uh, this wonderful champion from Romania has done that. And she deserves all the accolades that come her way, as does Serena. One of the greatest athletes of all time, not just on a tennis court. Uh, without the strapping on her leg, which she is, but it looks as though she's still got a little bit of tape on both strings. Serena Chantal with us for Cointos. Ladies, before we start, at the end of a Cointos, please take photo facing that way with Chantal. Uh, the rest is the same like the whole week. Shot clocks are in the, far, in the corners or on the scoreboard up. Electronic line calling is in use. Just make a request for challenging Tamla Man and verbally. That's about it. If you need anything, something's wrong, let me know. Any question, ladies? Chantal or yours? Who are you going to offer? Uh, to whom? To whom? So, Rod Laver or ANZ? Simona, receive. Yours, yours, thank you. Stay there, stay there. Preliminaries out of the way. The warm up about to start. Gives me an opportunity to welcome uh, Casey Delacqua to the commentary box. Big night. Massive night here tonight, Mark. Really looking forward to this one. Whole world is to what a fourth round matchup. As you said, world number one versus Serena Williams, who, whenever she walks out on court, is almost the favourite. It's been a warmer day, but it's still been a beautiful day. Picture perfect in so many ways here in Melbourne after the uh, seismic shocks in both draws yesterday. We were wondering what today was going to bring. It's been another. Fantastic day for stories, but uh, maybe the biggest one brewing here. Serena Williams, well, what do we not know about Serena Williams? She has just had simply an extraordinary career. So much success, very few losses. Just looking back, just seeing this is, in my estimation, the first time that she's taking on a world number one since 2013. And that back then was Victoria Azarenka. So uh, she played her in Doha that, of that year. So it's been a while, and then part of that reason is, of course, she's been world number one for the majority of that time, and she can't play herself. A route through has been destructive, to say the least. Tatiana Maria just picked up a couple of games. Bouchard, who's had somewhat of a Resurgence, just the four games. And uh, she has looked every inch a former champion here. From the fifth most popular city in Romania, age 27 years of age, currently ranked world number one and certainly in her prime at the moment, Halep. And what a route through she had last year in terms of the effort expended it wasn't uh, three minutes all that easy this year but last year was uh, something else wasn't it that match against lauren davis three match points the match against kerber and then of course the final against wasniaki she had uh, very little left kanepi kenan and venus have fallen feet of Halep so far. Well, we certainly are going to see two very contrasting game styles out here tonight. And there's no doubt Halep being the world number one, she's earned that right. You just can't help but feel when Serena walks out in the court, the, the match is always on her racket. She's the favourite, she expects to win and I'm sure a lot of people 
most of people when she walks out the court. Expect her to win as well. And that's a lot of expectation to have on your shoulders. But Two minutes. There's one person that's going to continue to ask the question and make her play out here tonight. It's the world number one, Simona Haller. struggles there we go a one there is a walkover in there that Halep can't claim Serena dominant in their head-to-heads popped over to uh, Romania spoke to her talked about how she'd sacrificed everything to be uh, the best that she can be and then now she uh, is looking for a little bit more enjoyment outside of the tennis court as well trying to form a few more friendships one minute. Uh, had a baby. And he's one of the most important persons in her life, of course, for Serena. She's now a mum. And it has been a pretty swift uh, rise back towards the top of the rankings. There's Patrick Moratoglu. What a uh, 24 hours he's had with the, the various players that either he's directly involved with or involved with at his academy. Of course, uh, Stefanos Tsitsipas, Horacine in attendance, Venus seconds. alongside. She'll have given uh, Serena a few tips, no doubt, about the way that Simona is hitting the ball. And Anna Winter in the uh, box as well. You know your fashion. Well, I, I know people in fashion, <laughs> but I definitely don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be played by Stephanie. You'll know Eric that sets. I definitely do not know. Simona Alep, one of us. And chose to race Simona's mum, who uh, and is Oboha. here, of course, the one face missing from that box is the, the very famous and ultra successful coach Darren Cagle, who has worked not only with Simona but, of course, with Lake Dua bringing him through the ranks and Andre Agassi as well. And back to doing his television commentary and looking after his son, who's looking to try and go to US college. The tour is a bereft of one of the great minds in terms of between the lines but certain people get the opportunity to listen to his wisdom elsewhere consumed by her desire to be the best with a much more positive attitude, something again she's uh, credited Darren Cahill for doing. She says her countrymen and women naturally don't think that positively about themselves in Romania, Miss but he's managed Williams. to uh, transfer his love of life, as all Australians have. Serena Williams to serve. And it will be Ready. Serena Williams to begin. Play. Just in case you did miss it, and uh, Casey Zyklet didn't miss it, she got a time violation here, Serena, for being too late out for this first point. Game college. 
Well, it was a slow start in every sense of the word, wasn't it? It was. Spurs getting yeah. a little bit flat-footed there as well in that game. She's looked really good to me so far from the Hotman Cup. Saw her play quite a bit there. The first three rounds here, for me, it's the best she's looked. Seemed mentally for a long time, which she has just had a baby. Simona. So it's always so it's going to take time, but a little bit of a slow start there in that first game. There's the win predictor. Just uh, edging it in Serena's favour. match that Serena's going to look to attack the second serve of Simona Halep. Miss Halakushan will call on the right pass a line, the ball is called in. Halep has two challenges remaining. up what you were saying Casey about just how uh, well she's actually been timing the ball since she's been in Australia yeah she's been exceptional oh! 15 it seems really clear in her thinking out there Serena Williams and that's a dangerous combination Took this so early, early preparation inside the court. Forty. Oh. Going to be fascinating to see because we got the. The best of 2018 here. The best in terms of service points won in Serena and the best in terms of return points won in Simona Halep from the WTA last year. That's a nice contrast in styles.
14, 15. job getting it at the feet of Serena Williams. Got to think if there's one thing that Simona Hallop has to do well tonight, it's just her depth of shot. Anything that lands short, we you know what Serena Williams is going to do to it. Two games, two one. superhuman feet because she obviously it's hard work not only the whole pregnancy thing but the what comes after dealing with a new Lady baby Shelvin, in your life find your seats quickly please certainly is thank you Christmas at home in 10 years, she said. Uh, for so many years. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, behind the players, Grail, take the first seat player, the point out, please. Title. Thank you. She won the French. Some of the pressure relieved. Impressive, really, winning the French after what had happened the previous year against uh, Ostapenko, being a set and three lover. Elena playing so well to come back in that one, but obviously it was an emotional roller coaster for Halep. Then found herself a set and two love down against Sloane Stevens in the final. It's only about her willingness to come in and attack in that match that she felt turned it around. She might need to do a little bit of that tonight given how quickly Williams is uh, getting the ball back to her. Holding middle of the court, inside the baseline, moving Simona Halep around. You can just see how far Simona Halep is back here, back behind the Melbourne sign. in her opening service game Halep potentially going to get broken for a second time here again Williams <laughs> under pressure here under siege on serve three games to one 
and there is some high quality ball striking from the other side. Yeah, you can just see the amount of power that Simona Halep has to absorb on her serve. It's coming back extremely fast off the racket of Serena Williams, which, we, which you expect, and Simona Halep has played her many times. But not only do you have to absorb the pace, you have to create something off that as well. Such early preparation from Halep there. Let's. First Serena, lovely when she uses a bit of finesse to go along with the, the power she has. Just rolling that forehand cross court. A lot of the left hand here to get underneath the ball, create that sharp angle. That's not the kind of pace that Halep can dial in when she needs it desperately. Big advantage for Serena. Again, Williams. Looking ominous. Looks like it's going to be a real uphill Williams battle leaves. tonight for Halle. Four games for one. Serena. is high within the crowd effort level high for Hallett but she's getting a little overwhelmed at the moment oh. 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 Williams 
just tracking the down the line forehand before Halep had even hit it. Perhaps before she'd even decided to hit it. First game, she lost herself to love. It's been all Serena. literally has to worry about you you can play <laughs> your game and 98 percent of the time it's going to win you the match she has been awesome this evening a little lower than she thought it was going to be to take that one up the line over the high part of the net. Hallop hanging on. Serve Serena can't help but feel every time she misses a first serve, she must have it in her head that Serena Williams is going to be aggressive, which can tend to worry you as a server. Also, Halep was so conscious of getting behind the baseline there that all her weight was going backwards. She actually couldn't go left or right because she was desperate to get back. Oh. It was almost like Serena Williams hit a big target here. She actually hasn't got the balance to react to what I'm doing. It was actually a very safe winner. impressed me not so much her ace count she's only at 12 for the tournament but the fact that she's up at 81 percent when she's got a first serve in game of yes. the Williams. six games to one new balls please absolutely super six one Anyone's going to do it, it's Simona Hallop. But Serena Williams certainly, I mean, since that first game that she lost, it was all her from then on in. It was impeccable tennis. Some beautiful. 
beautiful highlights. Lots of winners off the rack for Serena. Kicked her unforced error count down. Even when she is playing powerful and aggressive, her margins were so good in regards to she was going for the lines, but they were half a metre inside the line. And see the beautiful finesse that she showed on some shots as well. That was a masterclass first set from Serena Williams. Time. Second set, set. Superior. Halep, two set. Senior set, one more set. And she will be uh, past the world number one and into the quarterfinals once again. Serena, it truly is because there's not much more Simona Hallett can really attempt to try at this point. 15 all. Well, that is the only thing she can <laughs> attempt, isn't it? Take the racket out of Serena's hand. and awareness that has really impressed me from Serena too. Simona turned her head back around and she saw Serena at the, the net. coming up here for Hallam. How good is that? Yeah. First game, second set. This was a terrific couple of points here, basically from Simone. It was, and the mental response to put that first set aside, certainly for me, got a, a little bit more depth, work the ball, push Serena a little bit back from the baseline, but it, but it all helps. Well, it's heavily swung the wing predictor in favor of Serena. <laughs> Miss Halabish on the call on the right baseline, the ball is called in. Good 
15. first serve every time she's getting herself in exactly the position she wants on serve Serena ah! okay the lower fastest of the night at 183 tough conditions I mean they'll be thankful that they're playing in the stadium because outside it is blowing a gale. part of the effectiveness of the shot. Taking uh, the opening set 6 1. And, uh, a couple of times, I should say, because both times it was against Azarenka. <laughs> Seven from eight, net points one for Serena, and she's been doing this well throughout the tournament. Picking her right opportunity to move forward. And a smart play against someone that gets a lot of balls back is to move forward, finish at the net. 15, 14. She just doesn't quite have the same miles per hour on her ground strokes as Serena does and she forced it there and whenever you get to that point where you're sticking the speedometer in the red zone you lose control she looks like she's losing control of this second set <laughs> Serena is going to be coming after this second serve yeah Williams Just a slight correction on that 6 1 set, of course. She actually went on to win that match, Martina Hingis and Key Biscayne 7 6 in the final set. So uh, all is not lost for uh, Simona Hallop, but uh, it's a pretty destructive night so far for Serena's record. Too much you can really say that Simona Halep has done wrong at this point. It's not that she's not given it 100%, Simona, but uh, this lady here is just making her dance to her tune. Ladies and gentlemen, find your seats quickly, please. 
Thank you. Time. Fifteen. Halep has any chance of getting into Serena Serbs games. I know she broke her in the first game, but she really just has to find a way on the first serve to neutralise the point, whether that's going deeper. And then on the second serve, like she did in this first point in this game, is take a few risks. because the moment you just put the ball in the way that Serena's playing here and she always wants to play front foot tennis, you're in big trouble. There you go. Couldn't have said it better myself. Huh? It's, it's difficult. Serena and once again taking the base off it measured to perfection. the same velocity now once again we'll just take a look at how early she prepares how early she takes this ball well you can see there Williams is uh, placing a lot more load on her shoulder <laughs> in terms of generating the intensity and volume of shots the average uh, taken about 100 kilometers an hour, which is the average ground stroke speed. She has been putting a lot more into it. Yes. Halep continuing to use 
use her feet well. And that wasn't as easy as she made it look. Gains off. Serena, it's this player here, world number one, Simona Halep, and you would think after that first set, which was devastating, that Serena's going to have a little bit of a, when I say lull, just a few unforced errors creep in. as well. Time. Perfect evening. Perfect evening for whatever sport takes your fancy, to be honest. The Abbey Park Stadium there, but of the AFL, you've got the uh, MCG or just the G on the right of your picture there for a bit of cricket, but of course all eyes are focused on Melbourne Park, particularly inside the Rod Laver Arena right now. Serena Williams, 2-3, second set. Darren Cahill, he's a, become a director of Port Adelaide. He has. I think that's a fantastic appointment, obvious appointment. So 
sponsors a, a local ladies ice hockey team back in Romania. <laughs> Simona Halep has been to the Port Adelaide Football Club when she was working with Darren. Said she didn't know much about AFL, but I'm sure she's learnt a lot more now. Gay Williams. Three games off. Nice to serve with the match. 189. What a beautiful court Rod Laver Arena is. should be commended for injecting a bit of tension into this match because it did look as though it was going to be a, a runaway train the way that Serena started. Oh. A better location than a oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, and that has helped. Not necessarily overpowering Serena, but just the placement, getting herself into a much better position. Well, this is a terrific effort from Hallam. And it's going to get interesting now. Serena just battling a little bit with herself at times, and you could see that and hear it, particularly after the net call. Yeah, I feel like we have a really good contest now on our hands. She hasn't really been challenged at the Australian Open this year so far. I knew this was going to be a, a good match. So this is the first time Serena is going to have to step it up. Time. All eyes on this one today. Serena versus Simona, and it was all Serena for uh, 35 minutes. But Halep certainly making her presence felt as a current world number one should.
Fifty left. Miss Halepi show call on a left service line. Ball was called in. Fifteen left. Miss Halep has one challenge remaining. <laughs> Clean both the lines. power to caress the ball like she does. No doubt it's a clear tactic to try and use the width where possible. <laughs> and not just move Simona Hallett laterally across the court. <laughs> 40 love. of the night, 159, averaging about 141. And again, that's something that sometimes goes unnoticed with Serena's play is the variety involved. That's a big change up. Halep didn't catch up to it. Williams shall not call on the left pass line. The ball is called out. It's definitely worth the challenge. The crowd almost convinced her to challenge. 40 30. Pressure developing. Game wins. How many times have we seen that already in this Four. match? Just the ability Games to walk up to the line, Miss Williams pick your spot, commit to the shot, remain. and execute it. Sense of satisfaction as you deliver a serve like that. Exactly where you aimed it as well. Big time to do it. Baseline. She didn't have a care in the world for the rules in terms of how you're supposed to play. She was just trying to take away Halep's time any which way she could. Go. 
earlier in the evening here in Rod Laver Arena. To the left of your screen in the blue dress, Diane Balistrate, one of Australia's greatest ever players, inducted into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> 13, 15. What an honour. Certainly well deserved. second set. through the agonies of a final set but she does have a perfect record when she's gone to three against Halep in the course of their career three times it's happened three times she's emerged the victor Potentially happen now. It looked 
looked so unlikely earlier on in the set. But it is set point. when she got the opportunity and take advantage of those few extra unforced errors that went into Serena Williams' game. Final sets. Halep, two sets. And that serve has become something special in this match. She has hit so tight to the lines, whereas at the start of the match, Serena having her way with the return and able to get on the front foot. Oh. 
Sanctuary of the change of ends here. One love up after a couple of crushing returns from Serena. And she's going to need to be vigilant here. trajectory wasn't aiming for the line I don't think but it did catch the line again resolute defense from the Romanian It looked like 200 kilometers per hour to me, though. She just left a vapor trail as it left her strings. There was a lot of frustration it felt attached to it as well. That did not feel as measured as the one that she hit in the opening set. Deserving of a world number one tonight. Simona Halep has allowed her opportunity to manage her service games better and then relax a little bit on the return of serve, get into Serena's serve as much as possible. We talked about length earlier in the match and 
She certainly found it now. now that this is a really poor shot selection from Serena. A little bit unsure what to do there in that instance. Oh. No greater visual image than the change that's happened in this match than that point right there. has almost got used to Serena's ball, the pace of it, the movement of it. In the first set, we saw that little bit of variety from Serena. It hurt her to perhaps change the pace and tempo a little bit. Well, it was quick well, the set. That was right with just three shots. Simona managed to uh, drag that up to four in the second and now up to six. So the work rate getting higher for Serena. She's been careful, Hallett, with her shot placement as well. When to open up the court and when to go up the middle and keep the angles at their narrowest. great champions compete against each other. This eagerly awaited clash, more than delivering. Back to where we started. 50-50 <laughs> in my eyes, though.
skating. It's a flawless opening set from Serena. In fact, flawless three games of the next set as well, to be honest. She's just starting to feel as though she needs to do a little bit more with the ball, which is why the errors are coming. when she plays her best tennis when she's tight to the baseline but Halep's length that you called for at the start of the match is uh, starting to extract errors from her around as the sun finally makes its way down behind the Melbourne CBD it's starting to build up into uh, one of those classic contests last time they met of course 2016 at the US Open it was 6-3 in the final set to Serena is going to repeat itself. Again, big serve down the tee, 182. Game, Game Williams. Williams. Game's on. Oh. 
hurt there. Yeah, like. Just telling herself there that it was an opportunity to go down the line. Just pulled off that cross court. Again, just another indication of the sizable victory that Halep has had in this match, forcing Serena to think a little bit more than she was in the opening set. That's all. Once you put doubt in Serena Williams' mind, you know you've made gains and a step forward. It's been many times in the last half an hour of this match where you can see she's just picked the wrong shot. Footed. One of the rare times tonight. Again, Halep. Another swift service hold. Halep leads. Three games to two. she's capable of doing. Serena, capable of miracles as we know. Who is going to prevail? of Halep. She's created that. She's created these opportunities. Williams has got to help her in a situation like this. She's been tested and come through Simona Halep with all of those 
matches. Serena Williams' is coach, she has been fierce with her come-ons. She didn't make the return. shot in but to me.
Davis in the opening set. Does that as well as anyone, that off backhand return. Today. Third game of the final set, 15 minutes. I think there were six break points. majority of that advantage Williams miss Halep to show the call on the left hand side line the ball is called Caleb has two challenges remaining. Space for the two hander, the Romanian, not that time. Locked at three or Committed to that second serve return. and look at the vision that Halep shows here. That was crazy good. Even 
and Serena applauding. careful she's lost a little bit of pace in this third set on her second serve it was crucial in the second set to keeping Serena at bay cannot allow herself to be conservative here oh, the moment that the great American breaks the Romanians resistance. hasn't been that long but it has been intense from start to now it's 15 so with three break points saved in her previous service game so pivotal it would seem
Set Simona Hallett, but Serena lifting. What? Is on someone's racket. It's that of Serena Williams. <laughs> 14, 15. Team. It felt good from the strings. Oh. That's a lot. Well, in the match that's had virtually everything, this is kind of the conclusion we wanted, watching a great champion potentially serve it out. Yeah. Williams leads five games to four.
for a place in the quarterfinals.
course, Serena looking to win her 11th Grand Slam since turning 30. Patrick Maratoglu can take a lot of credit for that, as can, of course, Serena, whose character is just simply immense. Serena, just look at the reaction on this, Serena. Everyone's on their feet. Congratulations on a brilliant performance tonight. Is this why you're still out here playing for nights like tonight? Yeah, it is. Um, it was really an intense match and it was some incredible points, but you know, I love playing tennis and I love being out here and I love this court and um, it's really cool to be back out and be playing um, again on this court. We... You're known as one of the great competitors, not just in tennis, in sport. But how do you find a way to elevate your level when you most need it? We saw that midway through that second set. Yeah, I really needed to elevate my game. Um, she's the number one player in the world, and there's a reason why. Um, she elevates her game, she plays well, she's just a great player. Um, so in order for me to stay out there, I had to you know, just play a little bit like I knew I could, and I did, and I think that was um, obviously, hopefully, the difference. Do you, do you tell yourself anything special in those moments? How do you get yourself going? We, we, we'd love to know, Serena. I know, you know, I'm such a fighter, you know, I just never give up. Um, I, it's, I don't know, it's definitely something that's innate. Um, I just work so hard for every point and I just feel like, you know, I have, it's a miracle that I'm here. I, I get to do something that I enjoy. Um, this is my job, my job is to come out and play in front of you guys and it's a super pleasure and so like that gets me motivated to just to keep trying and to keep fighting for literally every point. No, it was wonderful to see you play tonight. I have a feeling that uh, your daughter Olympia is tucked up in bed too. Will you get a chance to say goodnight? I know. Um, well, we have movie night every night but we had it this afternoon because I had a night match tonight. And, um, so she loved it. Um, but yeah, she's sleeping now. But. Um, we're gonna have a fun morning tomorrow. What, what, she, what, what does she like watching? I think I've seen Frozen 3,000 times, and then, uh, and then I've seen Beauty and the Beast 4,000, and it's just like, I can recite it, I know all the songs, it's like, oh my gosh, so, yeah. It's just those two, I'm like, Olympia, there's a plethora of movies to choose from. Can you choose, you know, another one? But she's just like, that, that, that. Serena, enjoy your morning. We loved you tonight. Congratulations, Serena Williams. Serena herself has been producing sequels time and time again throughout her illustrious career. And we pretty much Thank you very know much, exactly Serena. what the yeah. outcome is going to be, even in the same Thank way you. she does when she watches Frozen. She was anything but frozen tonight. She was red hot, wasn't she? Out of the gates. She was certainly red hot. Set and a half there, and Simona Halep lifted her game, as Serena mentioned. And Serena went, Simona lifted her game, sorry, and Serena went with her. But it was a really tidy match there from both players. Some really good tennis there in the end, and obviously a lot more winners off the racket of Serena comes with that unforced errors but in the end came down to the fact that that crucial game there in the third set uh, in the third set that we, we know Serena got through. Well Serena Williams came out here tonight determined to get past the current French Open champion and keep her Australian Open ambitions on track. She did Exactly that. It was a fierce test, though, from Allen, who had her chances in the third. But this lady, this great champion, 23 Grand Slam titles, and people won't be betting against her, making it 24 in Melbourne.